Well, somebody's in pain and regret, remorse, because they sabotaged the connection between, they sabotaged the connection with you, and now this person is in full-blown regret. And the reason I say full-blown regret here is because this person is like praying. I feel like they're praying, but in the in the, in the pre-shuffle, I saw the pain card on the on the top of the deck. So yeah, definitely pain and regret here. Somebody could have a neck tattoo or your person could have tattoos on their neck or someone here could have a beard. But this person is like, dang, do I have another chance with the collective? Will they take me back? Look at that. They feel like reconciliation just came out in reverse. This person feels like you're not going to take them back. They feel like they, whatever it is that this person may have done, they may feel like reconciliation is not on the table. You're never going to take them back. So I don't know what they really did here. Or And for some of you guys, you're really not going to take this person back. Some of y'all are not taking anybody from the past back. And this person knows it. Yeah. <laughs> quality time this person wants to spend some time with you here and talk with you they're hoping that the two of you can come to some sort of like amicable agreement or like they're hoping if they reach out to you collective that you'll answer the phone or you'll respond to their text messages so they can have a conversation with you i feel like this person wants to open up and maybe be vulnerable with you for once and and it's like giving the energy of like i hope they'll listen the collective will listen to me all I want to do is really, really talk. I feel like this person has been spending a lot of like free time alone and this person was left with their thoughts. They're left with thinking like, okay, you know, they're left to think about what how they sabotage the connection is really what it's given here. Okay. Let me go. Let's see what else is going on here. Woo. That is way too many, but we will take them. Uh oh. Okay, some of y'all have a new connection coming in. This person may, you might, there's like energy here of someone being married and someone being pregnant, but I don't feel like this is energy that's, that's already happened. Now, maybe for some of you guys, somebody here was is in a, in a commitment in a marriage or pregnant here, okay? But with the sign energy here being here, this this energy following, take a step back. I feel like you all are not, interested in reconciling with this person i feel like you actually are on a break you took a step back you took a pause for yourself you're healing you're doing whatever it is that you're doing which i feel like is minding minding your business you're definitely i feel like i'm talking to a divine feminine here with this uh fertility card right because to me this is like the empress you're getting signs and synchronicities that you have some sort of fertility coming towards you. Either you guys are pregnant or you're about to be pregnant and married. Oh my gosh. Or whoever this next person is that you're getting ready to meet, you're going to have a child with this person or a family with this person. Flip and switch the roles. If you're a male, you might meet somebody and have a child with this person. Um, and you're seeing all these signs and synchronicity. So like 11, 11, I know one, I've, I've been seeing lots of synchronicities, right? Um, y'all let me know in the comments what synchronicities you've been seeing, but this is what you have coming towards you after you take, a, you took a step back from this person. So this person is worried. They're, they know what you have left. Yeah. This wake energy came out in reverse. And this weight energy to me is like the two of wands. But see, this is like this two of wands, this weight energy, you've been trusting and waiting and taking, you know, this this energy is falling directly underneath the relaxed energy, which is you trusting your guys, waiting, the universe has your back. You know the universe has your back. So you guys have been asking for something divine. You've been asking for something that's not toxic. You know what I mean? And so it's like, okay, this is coming in for you. You're walking down a brand new path is what this looks like. Doesn't this look like like you're walking in a path in a forest towards the sunlight? It looks like you're you yeah, that's what it looks like you're doing. Yeah, new perspective, looking at looking at things differently. So you're looking at life differently, okay? You are <laughs> ready for new, you're ready for change. And so you guys are in alignment with something here. Looks like some of y'all may have gotten clarity. Hmm, there's something to do with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn here with Earth energy. Or that could be you. Okay. 
or you could have been like failing to see something that has something to do with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Mm, maybe this is Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn is the one who's going to be in regret. All right, show me more here about this situation for the collective. Ooh, I told you, look at you showing up. <laughs> the Empress, the Empress. It makes total sense, man, I'm telling you. Yeah, show me more about this Empress or what, what's going on here. You guys, I'm telling you, you're gonna be a page of pentacles. Okay. Let's get more, some sort of offer here. But you don't know, look at you, see. You're manifesting, like I said. You're manifesting something with this magician energy, okay? Whether you know it or not, Gemini energy here, judgment. Scorpio energy, Gemini energy, and Taurus energy. Hmm. Look at that, you're manifesting your Ten of Cups. So I feel like you you guys, as the Empress, you made a judgment call to take a break from this person who's in deep regret and wants to reconcile with you. They know that, for most of you, this person knows you're not going to take them back and you're not going to reconcile, okay? It looks like you're getting a new offer. You're manifesting a new offer. You're starting to see things totally different. Like I said, you're you're seeing your life totally different what you want in a relationship or what you whatever this person is here that's in regret missing you that wants a reconciliation that's in all this pain and regret like you don't see this person this the same way anymore you know your viewpoint about them has changed your judgment energy is about self um evaluation you having some sort of like realization or self-discovery like this this could also be you divine feminine and realizing who you are <clears throat> realizing you are the embers so therefore let me take a step back from this situation here i don't know why you had to take a step back from the situation here yet but maybe we'll get more information about this all right so oh boy look at that <clears throat> i don't even know what this was but damn I'm going to put this back. It's, I see two people here. I just, okay, Spirit said, no, go get that card. Hold on. That was the king. That was the king of swords. So there's a king of swords and a king of cups here. There's two different people here. Like I said, there's a past person. And then there's a new person that you're manifested to. I just can't tell. Um, we're going to figure it out. Let's see. I feel like this past person, this Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, they don't have to be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, or this uh, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. You know, you got a King of Cups looking at you. Hmm. Okay. Two different people want you here. Let's tap into this. This King of Cups is thinking about you real hard. But I feel like two people are really into you. Again, I feel like this is somebody you haven't met yet. And then somebody else from the past that's in regret missing you. That sabotaged the connection between the two of you. Wow. You might have to choose between two people. Because mm -hmm. these both of these people think about you. Show me this King of Cups energy, please. Yeah. Mm, the lovers, so the passionate connection here. Show me this King of Cups energy. Let's see who this King of Cups is. Whoa. I don't know. The Sun card and the Death card. Leo and Scorpio energy. We got three major Arcana cards. Three major Arcana cards. Wow. I, I'm guessing I know who the new person is. <laughs> I'm guessing I know who the new person is, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Hold on. Hold on. Let me let me just let, let, let me figure this out. Who show me this King King of Swords energy, please? Let's just see first. Dang, Leo. This person over here may be a Leo. This fell on strength. Show me the King of Swords energy, please. Yeah, this is the person you walked away from. 
or this King of Swords has had to find the strength to walk away from them. Maybe it took you, you all the strength in you to walk away from this King of Swords. Or this King of Swords just recently had this to you know what I mean? you know what I'm saying? Show me one more for this King of Swords. Page of Wands. Yeah. This person wants to talk to you after you walked away after you walked away from them. Seven of Pentacles. They're waiting to hear from you. They're waiting to hear from you. I feel like this King of Cups is looking for the same thing that you are looking for. Okay, they, they, both of these people are really in love with you. They're going to both be in love with you. For those of you who haven't met this other person yet, when this person meets you, the two of you will fall in love with each other. But I still feel like there's somebody else from the past that's still in love with you. And this past person that you walked away from wants to talk. <laughs> Or they're going to be forced to watch you fall in love with somebody else. And, and they're going to be really disappointed in all this deep regret and pain and remorse. This King of Cups just recently went through some form of death or rebirth here. So they just went through a lot of changes in their life too. So I feel like you as the Empress, um, if that's where you feel like you resonate, right? I feel like you as the Empress, you were going through a lot of changes in life too, right? Remember, you were starting to see things clearly. You're seeing things from a different perspective. You're ready for change. You know, you've been manifesting something new. It's like you, you it's like you were in the energy. I'd rather wait. I don't want this bullshit over here. I'd rather wait to have exactly what it is that I really want, what I truly want. And I feel like what you truly want as the Empress, now you are realizing who you are. You want this fertility. You want this this marriage, this stable commitment. You want to forge ahead on a new path. You know that the universe has your back. It's like you know, okay, I've got to stop and take care of myself, heal, you know, with a relaxed energy being here. Trust you're trusting your guides. You're trusting in the process, trying to stay patient. <laughs> Yeah, let, let me see here what this sun card is. I don't know. I feel like this is going to be a very happy, transformative connection with this King of Cups. It's going to be very passionate um, and very a lot of fun, flirty energy. This person is going to be like a ray of sunshine for you. You're going to be like a ray of sunshine for them. I feel like the connection is going to be very transformative. But let me get some more. What's, why is the sun card here? Whoa, it's Okay. <laughs> Why is the sun card here? This nine of wands keeps wanting to come out. Bottom of the deck is that ten of ten of cups again. Nine of pentacles. I'm telling you, you're single right now. You're in healing. You're single and healing right now. You're single. And, look at you showing up. This is the other half. The, the, the queen of cups on the bottom. I'm sorry. The queen of swords on the bottom of the deck. <laughs> Interesting. But I feel like this is you kind of like being head over heart, but not being as emotional, trying not to overthink things, trying to set healthy boundaries for yourself so you can hold out and wait on what you feel like you deserve. So you're like, okay, I'm going to heal Nine of Pentacles, uh, Sagittarius energy here with temperance and just live my single life and be happy and wait on my Ten of Cups. I feel like this person's going to fight for you, Nine of Wands. This person going to fight for you, whoever this King of Cups is. All right. Show me the lovers, though. Why are the lovers here? See, this is a soulmate, maybe? Yeah, a past life soulmate, possibly. Six of Cups. Could be the person missing you, too. Mm. But I feel like with Eight of Cups being over here... <clears throat> That's the person you walked away from. Now show me about this um, death and rebirth card, please, for this King of Cups. Yeah, look, I'm telling you, Ten of Cups. This person, I feel like, is going through something, too, and now this person is happy. This person's happier now that they have um, gone through this death and rebirth process. Yeah. <clears throat> this King of Cups is gonna is looking for the same thing you're looking for. Yeah, I'm telling you, this person is having clarity. This person is having clarity. They're having a moment. This is the Ace of Swords. 
Like they realize what, does, what makes them happy. They realize what's more important in life. <clears throat> um, let's 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 see who this King of Swords is. Let's see who this King of Swords is. Do I want to use this deck? Um, clarify. This, but this King of Swords is trying to is gonna is this person's gonna watch you fall in love with somebody else. Um, they are already in regret and remorse and missing you as is. So if you haven't met this person, some of y'all have already met this your your two of cups, your new person. Some of you have not, but either way, this person was missing you before beforehand. <clears throat> so, but when this new person comes in and you get married and you get pregnant, or that's where this is definitely gonna lead, this person is really gonna be in deep shit. <laughs> They're going to be in their feelings and they're like, dang, I got to contact, I got to contact my person, you know, I got to find a way to communicate with them. Show me this King of Swords energy, please. Queen of Wands. Show me, oh, I'm sorry, King of Wands. Show me this King of Swords. What was that? Nine of Cups. I'm telling you, this 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 person is gonna come in. King King of Wands, Nine of Cups. This person I'm telling you is gonna come back around. <clears throat> Show me. <laughs> oh my goodness, they're gonna come back around and be like, please. Show me this King of Swords energy, please. Temperance, can we heal this? For some of y'all, it could be a Sagittarius. King of Swords. What was that? Oh, the Knight of Swords. This person is going to try to fight for you. Both of these people are going to try to fight for you. Oh, Lord. Have mercy. I don't know. Let's see what this King of Cups has got going on here. <laughs> oh, boy. Look at this. This Queen of Swords is just popping up again. Oh, Mm -mm -mm. Show me the King of Cups energy, please. Two, okay, a, de a decision. So this King of Cups has a decision to make. Show me the King of Cups. Or they're planning. They're waiting, trying to get out of their head here. Somebody's trying to be free. I don't know, weird. Somebody could have just got out of jail or... <sighs> Show me the King of Cups. For someone here is knows what decision they need to make now, they can go ahead and make their decision. Three of Pentacles. Four of Oh, interesting. Four of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. Queen of Cups. Somebody here cannot let go of somebody. Queen of Cups, you're this emperor. See how you're healing? You, you, you look. Some, I'm telling you, Queen of Cups and the Star Energy, Aquarius Energy here. There's energy of, of like somebody here from the past can't let you go. I also feel like this is you letting go of the past and healing, letting go of all these past burdens you have with these other people, seeing things clearly. You're still coming across as loving, kind, nurturing, the Empress Queen of Cups energy um, with the star, right? Healing, hope. I just can't. Um, but again, this energy, let's let's just let's keep going because I still feel like you have two separate people out here that want you. Okay. Show me more here. This King of Wands is um hold on. Twin sister. Oh, now we got a third party out here. What else? Uh oh, what was that? Moving. So we have twin sister controlling and then moving on is oh sorry can y'all see this sorry and moving on just came out let me see what what else this is about for some of y'all somebody here has a third party 
I could be this person here who has all these decisions to make with the lovers and the Knight of Swords and like eight of eight of swords, somebody's in their head here with the three of pentacles. That could be a contract. Um Hmm. Lust. Hmm. A star. And that's you. That's you. So this person, this past person lusted lusted after you because you're beautiful, you're kind, you're caring, you're nurturing. You look great on the inside. I mean, you look great on the outside, but you all also, like, you're fine as hell, right? Male, male or female, you're beautiful, you're sexy, like, but you're also a great person on the inside. And I'm telling you, that's how this person sees you here. They're very lustful over you. But there is, um, there, there's, like, somebody else in your energy who's, like, copying you who wants to be like you. <laughs> somebody thinks that if they just be, act like you, then they'll have control over a situation, I think you guys get a lot of attention here. Somebody gets a lot of attention. Or somebody's in the public eye or something like that. Someone in this and I mean, the only person I see that could be in that energy is the Empress at this point. The Empress is out here twice. Yeah, look at this happiness. <laughs> You're happy and content in your Empress energy. You 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 know who you are. You are very, you, 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 you're grateful for what you have and how far you have come. You have gratitude. You're not just like, what's, you're not, uh, what's the word? Um, not selfish, but what's the word I'm looking for here, y'all? You, you're great. You're just in grateful energy. You're not, you know. I don't know. Anyway, so show me what else here. Fake friends. Be careful. You have some fake friends around you or some jealous energy around you. I'm telling you, there's either there's either a third party here or someone, a fake, someone who wants to be like you. I feel like these people talk about you behind your back or, or you know, but in your face, they compliment you or something like that. Be careful about who you also confide in. Um, if you, you know, divine feminine, be careful about that. Because I feel like people like may want to like try to take your ideas, copy how you dress, copy, copy like how you look. Because I feel like you have your own style here. You have your own style. Remember, you're the, the empress showing up twice. And then start in this star energy, queen of cups energy, happy, <laughs> successful. You may have a platform. You may get a lot of attention on your platform. <clears throat> you know, that could be um, TikTok. Um, I don't know, whatever. Somebody here could also be like a well-known yoga, yoga teacher or something. Somebody here is recognized for whatever it is that they do, and they have some fake people around them, so just be careful of that. What else here? Marriage. Okay, for some of y'all, one of these people is married, okay? <laughs> and that's this third party who is trying to act like you. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. I knew I was sensing it and picking it up, but jeez. Whistleblower. Yeah, I told you there are people talking about you behind your back or gossiping behind your back, but to your face, it's a totally different story. To your face, it's like, what? Hi, how are you today? It's fake. It's fake as shit. It's it's fake as shit. Be careful who you confide in or tell your business to, because I feel like somebody else is telling your business. They or they're looking up. It's like you're coming. Your energy is coming across as like so good and so grounded and so positive. Somebody hates the light in you, so they're looking for any any information possible to try to discredit who you are as a genuine person. Which is a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> like, don't can you not find anything else better to do with your life? Find something else better to do with your life. Uh, did not just say, did, look at the snooping card just came out. Did I not just say people are looking for something or somebody's always in your business? Be careful. People are looking for uh, any reason, a reason to talk about you. Oh shit, maybe these are some friends or a group of friends who sit around and talk about you and you don't even know it. Be careful with that. 
Be careful who you tell your business to. Look at this. I'm telling you, social media stalker. Okay, there's definitely an energy here of people being in your business trying to, you're on some form of social media and you're a star or you're popular or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> oh my God. People are like, these, these, fake, these fake people are like, pick me, pick me. Why, why does the empress get so much attention? This, this person's trying to do whatever just, just to be cheater look at this there's a third party here but i feel like if that's what that was at one point you're no longer dealing with that because you're coming across as not dealing with this situation you're not dealing with anybody i strongly feel like you're not dealing with anybody let's get more information about this situation hold on y'all let me i have a pool of these in a while all right let's get the tea show me the tea here all right, show me the tea here. Let me shuffle one time. Show me the tea here in this situation, please. Because this is crazy. Investigation. I told. I keep telling y'all somebody is looking something up, watching you, or trying to find more information on you. I don't know. I don't know why. Sex shop. Oh my gosh. So somebody's watching. Hold on. I feel like somebody is watching you guys to try to be like you, to be sexy like you, or look like you because somebody else is actually lusting after you. Remember, we saw this lust energy here. This is that, that, that masculine is lusting over you. They see you in this energy. That's the, how they feel about you. And so this third party, this other person is like watching you on social media, stalking you, whatever, trying to copy you, you know, trying to figure out what they can do to turn their person on or like, <laughs> this has so seems so ridiculous, but I'm telling you that's what it is. I'm telling you that, look, cannot make this shit up. Hater, hater, setting the record straight. Um, I think what is about to happen is this person is going to be set straight or maybe this other person is realizing that. I don't know, take it how it resonates, but like there definitely are some haters, like I said, but whoever these haters are, the record is about to be set straight. I don't feel like Divine Feminine has to address that, though. I don't feel like this is you, Divine Feminine, addressing anybody, because why would you? You're too busy. You don't need to address anybody or these people. You don't. Show me what else, yeah. Ugh. Police. Oh, my God. Some drama. Oh, no, what's going on? I t look. I just think somebody, your light irritates their demons. This person, I feel like, is such a hater. Like, look, diamond girl energy, it energy, born to shine energy. This is what I'm telling you guys. There are people who do not want to see you do well or see you better or they're jealous of you. They want to be like you. Now, again, for some of you guys, it could be fake friends for others of you. There's a third party situation here that could be this King of Cups. Somebody else has another person and their other person <laughs> oh, is trying to be more like you because they know that their masculine is in love with you. I look, look at what just came out. Ca caution. Ca look at this. Somebody here and then marriage, divorce, breaking contract. I'm telling you, this King of Cups is getting ready to break a contract here. They're getting ready to be set free. Okay. You see, it, this is in, in um, traditional tarot, the Eight of Swords is just usually one person, right? There's usually not two people here. Well, well this is the after tarot deck, and this is someone freeing this person. This person is about to be free. This King of Cups is freeing themselves from something. But then you have another person here who wants to fight for you too. Hell, there could even be, really be three people, but I don't think this is three people. I think, I think this King of Swords is like really, really attracted to you. 
and they're ready to like fight for you. So I, anywho, but this somebody over here is getting ready to be in a breakup and there's a bunch of drama over at this person's house or in this person's relationship. The police may have been called for some of y'all. I'm telling you, the, the record is about to be straight. You're not the person, either this person who's dealing with this, this person that they're with is realizing that this person is copying you, trying to be like you, looking you up or whatever. They're not stupid. This masculine knows what the hell is going on. Oh, child, what else? What else here, please? Online drama. Look at that. Look at that. Online drama. Leverage. Having the upper advantage. I'm telling you, making posts. Someone here is about to get really in the, someone in this situation. I feel like this has nothing to do with you, Empress. But I really feel like with the setting the record straight energy. The marriage and divorce, the caution and the police car and the investigation. I feel like this person is getting really desperate and they are they're looking for anything and everything they can to to embarrass embarrass this other masculine or to win or to piss somebody off or to piss you off. I don't know who or whatever, but there's definitely some drama happening here. I don't know why you would put your business out in the street. It's just too much. It's too much. Oh my God. Somebody here is crazy as hell. Listen, I don't know who this is that's crazy, but there's obviously somebody here in your energy that's very, very crazy. Okay, be careful of this person. Pot of gold selling you false dreams. Whoever this is, I'm telling you, somebody is. Whoever this, I don't. Maybe this could be your if your past person is coming back. I don't sense that. I feel like this is a third party here. The third party is literally like. They might be trying to sell sell you a lie or they're trying to sell other people a lie. This person is crazy. They'll do anything to get attention or convince other people that you that you're such a horrible, bad person when that's just not the case here. And this person's going to be put in their damn place. I'm telling you, they're going to be put in their place, whether the spirit is going to place put them in their place or some some sort of evidence is going to come out that this that this other person is actually a liar. And they've been copying you the whole time, and you don't even know what the hell is going on. You have no idea what's, what's happening over here, collective. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. There is so much going on in this situation. There are so many layers to this that you may not even be aware of here. You know, I feel like this person, like... Wants to somebody's about to try to push you and see how far things they could take, how far they can take things with you collective, or this is what this third party is doing to your person. Look at that. I feel like you're just not into this though. You're doing your own thing. You you and this person, whoever this is, you you the two of y'all don't even want the same thing. You have different goals. You've moved on from this person. You're not even concerned about it. You're not, I don't even think you're aware of this. The great pretender. The great pretender. Somebody here, I'm telling you, is acting like they're not bothered, but they are bothered. They, they're acting like nothing is wrong with them, but there is something wrong with them. Or someone is acting like they're not going through drama, but they are going through drama. There's so much drama to this. There's so many issues with this. This person is, I feel like, really ashamed to tell you. They, you know, this might not come out now, but eventually it will. Or some of y'all, if you're the empress coming up as the empress and the queen of cups, you already know what the hell is going on because your intu intuition is on is on fleek. <laughs> Your intuition is on 10. Trust that. Conspiracy. I'm telling you, other people plotting to keep you apart. I'm telling you, somebody here is in, in energy of trying to keep you apart from somebody that you have already moved on from. Or they don't want you to move on to this other new connection. 
that's gonna come in regardless, you know. But this person, I feel like they're gonna do any anything, just drama, inconspicuous, wanting you to wanting you to stay, but being low key about it. Show me more about this inconspicuous energy. Who is this? Who is this in this inconspicuous energy? Okay, let me see. Communication. So this is somebody that wants to talk to you. They're not talking to you. They, oh, this is your this is your divine masculine. This is a masculine energy that. So this masculine energy is acting like they don't care or that they're okay, but they're not okay without you. Okay. They could also be the one kind of lurking and keeping an eye on you too, or keeping tabs on you. But they're, this person acting like they don't care, uh, that could be further from the truth. This person is super paranoid, like super paranoid and nervous. <laughs> they're like going through it here. They regret something, whatever it is that they regret doing, that's come up twice, right? Well, really three times, they're in a lot of pain. They're in a lot of pain. You may not even know what this person is going through. This person is like depressed for some of you all. They're not in a good space right now. And they're just like try, trying to come across as like they're okay, but they're not okay. <laughs> I, I, I feel like this reading is all about that other person right now. I didn't, I didn't plan on um tumultuous lives look i just split the deck and picked this other and tumult you see this bomb that's the drama that this person is going through in their life right now they're going through five of wands energy somebody's either plagued by the uh depression or they're going through a lot of drama right now or this person has addictions or is like falling back into some form of addiction because they're going through so much turmoil they don't know how else to deal with it right now right um it could have been an unstable childhood maybe that's why they, they decided to stay in something so toxic for some of y'all right um yeah just it says we have experienced so many similar things in our lives i always thought i was the only one to have had these experiences i take comfort in knowing you truly understand me so you, maybe you and this divine masculine or this divine masculine and the third party have some trauma bonding, or maybe you trauma bonded with somebody here, but they're definitely going through some karma right now. They're acting like they're cool, but they're not cool. And this person's definitely flipping, thinking about you, but they're thinking about you really in Ace of Wands energy in a sexual way. Family ties. Somebody here has a family with somebody. Okay. I don't, there's definitely a third party. Now, for those of you, if this is not like a third party situation, this person like might depend a lot on their family and they need to learn how to not depend on them fam their families and be more independent. That could be an issue or a blockage between you and your person. Um, you know. <sighs> This person could be stuck in their childhood and need to heal some childhood wounds or heal from some sort of childhood trauma. This person could definitely have a family and and, and maybe two ch for two children for some of you, okay? Deceit. Look at that. Deceit. And deceit just came out in reverse. I feel like this person's tired of wearing a false self mask here. You know, this person is definitely living a lie and pretending that things are okay. You see how this person, the mask that this person is holding has a smile on it. But when you, they take the mask off, the person's sad as hell. They're sad. So that this could be like if this person has a family with somebody else, they over here faking like they're happy, but they're really not. This, this masculine is worried as hell, y'all. What else? What else here for the collective? I cannot make it up. Oh my gosh. Let me see. Critical junctures, making a big leap of faith, major decisions affecting outcomes, a turning point that's going to alter the course, course of somebody's life and a connection. 
somebody here is going to do any and everything they can to try to alter you and your person from being together. But low key, I'm telling you, I don't think you really want your person. I don't know. Maybe this person is about to take a big leap of faith to come be with you. The Three of Pentacles is here. You know, this person is going to get free, get out of this Eight of, eight of Swords energy, and then I'll say, okay, I, got, I need to make a choice. I need to make a choice. Am I going to work on this? Am I going to do this? Am I going to do that? What am I going to do here? Um, all right. <laughs> You're mirroring this person. Capricorn energy at the top of the deck here. You could be a Capricorn or dealing with a Capricorn. And some mirroring energy here. Mm. Somebody is going to have to face their fears here and go through some form of dark night of the soul and do a lot of growth and healing work. That's if this person is willing to do that work. Right now, they just are comfortable with staying in this energy of faking it till they make it, even though they know they're not happy. Oh, okay, so that's what this is. Gossip. There are people gossiping about you and your person, whether or not the connection between the two of y'all is real. There's somebody here trying to talk talk your person and tell your person that, that oh, that connection isn't real. That's what all this damn talk about is a talk is about. People are like throwing their two cents in, trying to create doubt and fears. And this person is allowing these people to influence them or they did. I feel like they already did because you already turned your back to this. You're pretty much busy doing whatever. <laughs> um, Let's see what's coming in for you, uh, Divine Feminine, because... Uh, yeah, let's just see what's coming in for you, Divine Feminine. Let's do that. How about that? Um, show me the Divine Feminine energy, please. Show me the Empress Divine Feminine energy. Awakening. Look at that. Did not, didn't we already say you're seeing things from a different perspective? You want change. You don't want anything old. Out with the old, in with the and in with the motherfucking new. Okay, you're having a realization. You're progressing. You're awakening. So you've already gone through this stage. Your person is still stuck back there, <laughs> and this is all the drama that they're dealing with. Yeah, this is you re coming to a realization of who you are. Like I already said from the beginning of the reading, you're realizing your self worth, realizing that that you are. This empress, yeah, your confidence, you are, you, you know how much power that you hold. You're not worried about these people. All right, what do we have here, journal? Some of y'all might even be writing a book, okay? Or maybe you do need to write a book about this journey, okay? Why not? Perception. Did we already talk about how you're changing your perception? You don't see things the same way anymore? That's that energy, man. That's that energy. Um, you're coming out of whatever delusion or illusion. You're seeing through things. You're seeing through your own false self-beliefs. You're working through them. You're awakening and realizing. Because everybody has some work to do. The divine feminine is not perfect. The divine masculine is not perfect. But I feel like you were not afraid to face these fears, right? You were not afraid to look yourself in this mirror. Yeah. Show me more of the divine feminine, please. All right. Romance. Divine feminine, you have romance. Uh, open yourself to romance here. Romance wants to come in for you. I feel like this is real love. Okay. This is real love. We already talked about this. You already are in this energy of fertility. You're already going to be in this energy of finding the true partner. Wait, waiting for a real commitment. You're waiting for a real commitment here. Okay. You're going to hold out. I don't, I don't blame you. Show me more of the divine feminine. Compromise. 
flexibility, give and takes, brings reward. So good. I feel like you're divine feminine. You are about to get to get your good karma. All that compromising you did in the past, right? All every time because you know you showed up as the Queen of Cups too, right? I feel like you were in this Queen of Cups energy first, but you had to grow and evolve and awaken to become the Empress, right? You realized you you just you just had to level up and mature, and I feel like you did that. So all of that compromise and good karma from the past, loving people, you learn not to love people who or not overgive, not to love people who, you know, not be captain, save a hoe or whoever, like you learned your lesson. There's somebody here coming in with you that's going to work with you that will be a team player that will compromise with you, right? The person that ran away is going to, this person that I'm telling you is going to come back. This person from the past is going to come back. The runner, they're going to come back. Mm. If you if you get confused about where your path is, divine feminine, and which direction to go, especially when it when it comes around to you choosing, um. Follow your follow and trust your intuition here. That's what because I do feel like don't choose out of pride and ego is what this is giving. We're at crossroads and ego. Like don't be afraid to let your guard down with something new, but also like be sure you don't go the wrong way all because of your pride and your ego, which I really don't feel like you will be doing that. Because it feels like you've already like awakened and, and grown and learned. But I mean, we can make mistakes, so that could very well happen. But this could be your past person's energy, them wanting to come back in. They're still confused, but they can't let you go. This person that allowed the pride in their ego and their jealousy. It's like now it's like, shit, the Empress is about to move on. I got to rush in and let my guard down. But I'm, But I still don't know what I want. For some of y'all, this is a twin flame. Okay. <laughs> for some of y'all, that's not for everybody. I low key feel like I like I, I'm starting to realize that I had a false twin flame. A false twin flame. Yeah. Let's see. Mm. I'm over it. I am so over it. Uh, let's see. But I'm glad that journey is behind me. That's all I can say. Because it's not for the week. Let's see what the past person wants to say to you. What's this past person want to say here to the Divine Feminine? What's the past person want to say to the Divine Feminine, please? I told you. Look. I need to work on myself. I'm trying to clear my head. They are confused. They really don't know what they want. They know how they feel about you, collective, but this person is afraid and stuck in fear. I'm telling you, they're, they're, they're still not ready. I'm afraid that I lost you forever. Yeah, like I said, this person is afraid that you're going to reject them and that you moved on. And you have moved on. This is why I'm like, well, why are we talking about what's going on over here with this other person that they're with, that they feel stuck to, that they're not ready to grow out of? You moved on. You're not even trying to be done with this person. The spirit be wanting to tell, want me to tell you what's going on. I should have fought for you. Look at that. And they didn't fight for you. So you're like, okay, stay over there. The distance between us kills me. Look at that. So like I said, you haven't talked to this person. You haven't seen this person. You really don't care what the hell they got going on. I'm holding on to the memories of us on the bottom of the deck. I'm holding on to the memories of us. That's what that's what the past person wants to say. Okay, let's see what else is coming towards the Divine Feminine in the future. Show me future energy for the Divine Feminine, please. What can the Divine Feminine expect in the future, please? You, yeah, you did. Yep, thank you. Hold on, I'm going to tell y'all in a minute. Oh, this is great. 
This is, I told y'all, tr- make sure you trust your intuition. At one point, you might be confused about it, but understand that you, you are showing up here as the Queen of Cups and the Empress, which means your intuition is amazing. Don't ever, it's like your superpower. Don't you ever forget that. Don't feel like you cannot trust yourself because you can. Your intuition is growing, I feel like. A lot of you all are like are like strengthening your psychic abilities. Some of y'all really do have them or you're learning that you're having them and they're getting stronger. You're starting to really, because you grew into this Empress energy and you took a step back to refill and re- refuel and recharge yourself, you pour it back into yourself. So now you're beginning to trust and trust your inner voice. You're beginning to trust your decisions. You're beginning to have more confidence in the decisions that you make and you are feeling better about yourself. Okay. You just completed a cycle. Okay. Successfully completed a cycle. You're leaving behind certain things that you're starting a new chapter. You're seeing things totally, completely different. Okay. You're ready for something new. You're on to the next. You're, you Balance has been restored in your life. The wheel is turning. Yeah, I feel like uncertainty came out in reverse. I feel like you guys went through a period of feeling uncertain. I heard unworthiness. I heard you went through a period of not trusting your intuition, refusing to see people for who they really, really were. You 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 wanted because you wanted to see the good in all these people. You didn't realize that these people were playing mind games with you. They were leaving out information on purpose, not being honest with you. They they left you in confusion and frustration. But now you're like, no, uh, uh-uh. you're thinking about this and you're seeing people for who they are and what it is. I'm telling you, what is this? Victory. Yeah, victory. Exactly. Thank you, spirit. You're finally getting what you wanted. You're getting something that you've waited on for a long time, which I feel like is this fertility energy. You creating new beginnings. Some of you all are going to have children with that fertility energy being there. You're creating new businesses. You're finally going to, to be married or be in your long term commitment and be with your person, your forever person. Um, you finish, you're finishing something, you're, you're finally getting where you want to be, you've grown and when it comes to your career and your finances, right, or you're finding the love of your life, you're just leveling up in general, remember we saw that star energy, like, you should just be proud of yourself, because you, you motherfucking did it, okay, you motherfucking did it, that's all I'm gonna say, you motherfucking did it, and look on the top of the deck, courtship, Courtship, your love life will begin to blossom by taking those first steps towards intimacy and allowing your connection to gradually develop into something steady and consistent without rushing into love. So you're about to find something that's not going to be rushed. You're going to, you and your new person are going to get to know each other. You're going to build something very strong. Okay. Just period. Your ancestors have been rooting for you. (laughs) Of course they are. You're protected. You don't have to worry about anything divine feminine. That is going to be your reading. You could be any zodiac sign. I mean, really any and everybody out here. I made a mess at this table. I love y'all. Hit the like button. And until next time, stay safe and trust your intuition. Bye.